Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this afternoon Pitmaster's cooking on a green egg and I've got a little bit of a luncheon going on. I've got some grilled vegetables I've just put through on my griddle plate down below. Uh, a few chicken kebabs and some, some chicken and some Toulouse sausage and I'm cooking it here on the green egg and I'll show you what we got. Okay. Cooking on my green egg. I'm running at about 200 C at the moment. She's a uh, small crack on the, the um, chimney, and I'm running about 20 25 percent air going into the box. She's running about 200 degrees. I'll just burp it. Uh, I'm just gonna let you let out some of the heat and the gas without sort of taking my knuckles off, as you say. Let the burp gas out by lifting it up slightly about an inch. And inside, okay, I'm running a, some chicken kebabs. I've uh, got some big chicken's legs here, which I've put some color on already. As you can see, uh, a nice color. I bring to the side now to slightly cook them out a little bit. Uh, to leave sausage here, which are cooking fine. And uh, I brought them to the edge to so slowly cook on a little bit more. And the big chicken thighs, you can see that sizzling away nicely. I've only just put the kebabs on. I've got some beef kebabs going on next, but I'm going to cook these out. Put the colour on them. So come back in a shortly and we'll see how we get on. I'm going to run these for about five, five more minutes on these, and then I'll probably get the other meat off and get a rest up. But that's it for now. Yeah, come back in a second. Welcome back, guys. As you can see, my chicken is legs and my drumsticks are coming on now. The two are almost finished. I put some color on my um, chicken kebabs. They marinated it, need a bit of garlic, a bit of chili, um, turmeric, and some lemon juice. And they're coming on perfectly. I've got some nice char on them. As you can see, the chicken thighs are nice and golden brown. Pulling them off. Sausages are pretty much done. I'm just going to pull them aside to let them finish off. Uh, my drumsticks are all pretty there. Again, I'm just going to put them to the side. These are chickens. Probably going to cook on a bit longer. Put them a little colour on it. Uh, I'm going to get some beef, beef skewers on next. As you do, the char is growing nicely. So, anybody at Green Egg who wants to sponsor us, this is not my oven, so I look like to make some more content with it. This is my brother's oven, so I'm using that today as we're over there. Uh, I'm still, still working with a quarter on the um, air. air, but as you say, we're getting on fine. We've got to put the beef on shortly. I'll come back to you in a second. We'll do the beef. I've seen those days when I played. <laughs> what, you made do? I'm having a giggly bit. Having a giggly bit, I think, is a bit of too much saucier wine, Marcel. Is it beef kebabs? Beef kebabs. With peppers, and, and I put some smoked... Smoked uh, salt on it. Yeah, that's smoked salt. You're not smoking the salt, you're just putting it on the, on the beef kebabs. I thought we were sniffing the salt. I think, oh, no, 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 those are bad old days. <laughs> no, there you go. Well, they look lovely, though, don't they? They look really nice. Is this fillet steak? Uh, I think it's a rum. I'm going to put some rum steak on too. Some skewers. Do you, barbecue, do you have to wash these skewers before you put them on seriously? You have to soak them in cold water, otherwise the skewers will just burst into flames. So that's why Actually, there's a story. One of my rock star friends, a very, very good friend of mine, did this not that long ago. And he didn't wash the skewers. And he put the skewers on the barbecue and the skewers went up and the meat all got burned out. And he ended up going to the local Italian or the fish chip shop to get their dinner because he burnt the skewers. He didn't wash Let me them. guess. Is, does this musician have the name of CK by no, nature? No, it's not CK. No, okay. it's somebody else. No, it's okay. somebody else. And um, they forgot to wash the skewers, and it was really quite funny because I actually saw the video when I was at work, and it was quite funny. Bit, bit Burnt careful. offerings? It was, but seriously, you've got to be so careful because you've got to be because there's a hose pipe down now, so you've got to be really careful about what you burn and what you cook. But these look delicious, and I think there's salt and pepper and all sorts, and they smell. Yeah. Lovely. I can't eat this because I've got a stomach problem. I can't digest meat. But this looks. If I could yeah. eat this, I would eat it. Yes, yeah, so we go back now to the Green Egg, of which we're looking for a sponsor from Green Egg to come and chat to us. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get this on the barbecue. See you later. Right, guys. Here we go. Back with the kebabs. I've got to add them on on the first grill. 
I'll give them about three to four minutes on one side, then a nice bit of sear on them, as you can see from the bars. Chicken's almost done. Chicken's delicious. I can't do it too much. It's that chicken? That's chicken. That's on the last sear. That should be coming off shortly to rest. The beef needs to stay on for probably about another four, five, six minutes. And I'm running. Temperature-wise, it's dropped right down now, but I'll probably get it back up around about, about 200 and um, maybe slightly higher and we'll get that to meat to sear off. But that's it for now. Give me a second and I'll come back to you when you're taking it off. At the moment, the meat, uh, the, the um, green egg is starting to build up again. Uh, hopefully we can get our eggs shortly. Um, and uh, we'll speak to you, come back to us real soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh, cool. Right, here we go, guys. I'm finished with the kebabs. They are done on my green egg, as you can see. They've gone seared off both sides. I'll get them in about two, three minutes on the on the side, but I want to keep them reasonably pink. As we say, the chicken kebabs are done. I'll get them a good sear, and I've cooked them on all four sides. And I'm going to rest them up now, and then we're going to serve them up. Like I said, I really love working with the green egg. As you say, it's a solid clay oven base and so forth. Helps cook on the inside out. And I'm sure there's some lots of uh, lots of um, barbecuing can be done in this lovely machine, and we can get some really good content out of it. So, anybody at Green Hag is interested, come get back to us. We're really looking forward to working with you. If you can do something about us and getting uh, sorting us out of an oven, and we'll speak to you real soon, and I'll show you the final platter.